Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to DeFi DGEN's Drift and Farm for Poverty, where, as usual on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. As always, if you like the mission, you resonate with the vision, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, uh, watch all of my videos, all that jazz. Uh, help me reach more of an audience, grow my team, and make an impact here in Cambodia. I will be putting up some videos in the near future um, about the area in Cambodia and stuff like that so you guys can see out here where um, your use case will go if you're joining the team and what I'm trying to actually do out here. And I think it's good just to be so, give some transparency and you know, behind the scenes, especially if you're like me and you're from the U.S. and prior to moving out here, you never left the U.S. So many U.S. citizens I know, they never travel outside the uh, borders of the U.S. because it's so huge. Um, and with COVID, it didn't help, right? So anyway, I want to show you guys that behind the scenes stuff. But before we get into that, uh, today, going to be talking about why, once again, I'm so bullish on Drip. And I put together a little list so that you guys can have an overview. I combined or gathered this from some information the telegram groups, some of the AMAs, some uh, information from other drip dripper YouTubers, drip tubers, <laughs> and try to put it together and even the Dripedia website so that it'd be easy for you guys to, you know, uh, keep track of. Some I know per personally that I've heard from Forex. Others are, like I said, from the telegram or from other people or stuff like that, so I can't verify, but um, enough people are talking about it that I just put it on this list because it's supposed to be coming. So we'll start with the ones that I know for certain. Chainlink, as you guys know, um, that's been mentioned already. He talked about Chainlink, and it's not as big as people make it seem. Yes, Chainlink is a huge um, uh, blockchain, and they're the leading oracle in crypto, but all he's using the Chainlink partnership for is to uh, run the Oracle services for the lottery. That's it. So on the animal farm, you have the lottery, which as of this video isn't launched yet, depending on when you watch it, um, it might be launched. But all he's doing is using the Oracle service to host this lottery. Therefore, it cannot be exploited on the back end, running a simulation contract, something like that from uh, devs, modders, hackers, all that stuff. So it's not like Chainlink is going to be doing something special. Chainlink already runs a lot of oracles for a lot of other services, but that is cool that he's reached out to them to make this more robust and uh, who knows what doors that can open up down the road. So put that one first. Uh, Loot NFT, he already mentioned this. So I am not too familiar with Loot NFT. Um, like I've said before, my NFT game, I've gotten wrecked multiple times trying to do NFTs, trading and flipping and um, it never worked for me or the project I got in. The uh, dev just take too damn long to do anything with, so I'm just sitting on uh, expensive JPEG for now. But Forex super bullish on this. Other people I've heard talk about what they plan to do, and he's mentioned that um, they aim to become bigger than OpenSea, and OpenSea is the leading NFT marketplace. So um, what they will be doing with them, I actually have no idea how the NFT will work, um, but he did specifically mention Loot NFT as a partnership. So that is supposed to be coming very, very soon. So we'll see what they do with that. At a minimum, um, it just gives more visibility on Drip. So that is bullish for Drip. Next up, PancakeSwap. So he's leaked this one, and we already had the Twitter uh, announcement on PancakeSwap as well. Well, kind of, a, I would say, announcement, but a tease where they had the little bunny with the Drip on his shirt running. Um, what I believe this will actually be is, uh, he mentioned lending is what he's going for, but again, I don't think that's what this will be initially. I believe it will actually just be one of the syrup pools on, on PancakeSwap. So kind of like the animal farm has these places you can stake, um, other crypto assets and you can farm their native tokens, uh, farm the native tokens on this one being dogs and pigs. Um, on pancake swap, you can do the same thing in farms where you can earn uh, cake. Cake is the native uh, token on pancake swap. So I have a feeling it will initially just be a syrup pool um, where you could earn drip 
or stake drip or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, the lending, I don't see that coming immediately. Some people have mentioned that, that that's what this will be because Forex said that's what he wants to have happen. But I don't think that's going to be the initial thing. I think it'll be one of the uh, syrup pools, like I mentioned. So either the parms or pools where you'll be able to stake um, cake or drip or something like that. Probably, uh, definitely drip and earn cake or something to that effect, I would imagine. Um, whether that would be better to stake drip here and earn or if it'd be better to put it in the faucet, I have no idea. But I think it'll be a pool first and then some kind of lending. But either way, we did see Pancake Swap tease the little bunny and he did name drop it in an AMA. So that is bullish again because some the just at a minimum they have 1.6 some odd million Twitter followers and the largest decks on Binance. So that's just again more eyes on uh, drip. Next up is the drip cross chain bridge. Uh, this will allow capital to come in from other chains such as I listed a few AVAX, Phantom, Kusama, Moon River, Polygon. These are all EVMs. Um, if you're not familiar with EVM, it's an Ethereum virtual machine. Basically, they are forks and clones of Ethereum. So it makes it very easy to move capital from one chain to another. So there are tons of bridges to do so. And these are all just uh, EVMs of Ethereum. Binance is an EVM of Ethereum. So um, we don't know which chain specifically, but uh, Forex did say he's working on a drip cross-chain bridge. Um, so a multi-exchange API is being developed along with the bridge. So there are already multiple bridges if you've never bridged in crypto. That is one of the things slowing down massive adoption because you got to use these bridges and they're not the most user friendly and you have to pay some fees to get it across. And one of the bridges got hacked a little while back. So um, if Forex is developing his own, then hey, that's bullish for Drip as well. Next up, Drip uh, Bet Fury. So this was already, this was actually mentioned last year, to be honest. Um, it was in an AMA from last year. So massive co-promotion drip will be available, will be an available token on BetFury and get paid in BFG for using drip on their platform. Drip battle game on BetFury, which can be played only using drip. And BFG token will be usable to buy drip on drip native decks. So um, this always comes up as a site to not go to. <laughs> Malware does not, Malware Bytes does not trust BetFury. But BetFury is the largest crypto betting uh, casino um, so just having drip being utilized in a place where people like to gamble is bullish for drip. So, and I believe you also said it'd be deflationary, meaning, um, whatever drip is used here will be burned. Um, so that will help raise the price of the drip token. So that's super bullish again. So next up, we have the drip user UI, uh, which you guys should have already seen. Um, I'll pull that up here. Uh, maybe by the time this launches, it's already live. By the time you see this video, maybe you're already seeing it. But just in case, here it is. Just saw that I was muted for that entire part, but uh, just saying that 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 UI is bullish because um, it's cleaner, it's more user friendly for people getting into crypto. Um, it doesn't look as scammy or sketchy. Uh, the current crypto space is definitely for the younger crowds, the 20s to 40 year olds, the more computer savvy, tech savvy, risk takers. So if you're looking to get some whales from the traditional markets, they will not be going to the drip interface as is uh, right now. This, I don't see people coming to this. Um, and if I look at my the user data, I can tell what demographic people are coming that are watching my channel and they currently know about drip. So changing that is super bullish. 
So these are ones that I am familiar with uh, that I can verify. The other ones I did not personally hear, but found on multiple different uh, AMAs or uh, YouTube channels or even, um, like I said, Telegram and the, uh, there's a couple of, uh, what do you call those, blogs, basically people wrote. So current Drip Celebrity NFT partnership, full integration of Drip contract with the, um, Oh, this is two, two separate ones. This should have been underneath here. So current is for uh, some kind of celebrity partnership that um, um, allows for, I don't remember what it was, but <laughs> I'm not even going to try to lie. But um, it had some other information on here about uh, tying this in with celebrity marketers and influencers and some other stuff. Um, again, I don't know much about it. Didn't find the website, so can't say anything on it. Atlantis Metaverse. I did look this one up. Um, don't know much about Atlantis, but it does have a nice, clean website. But uh, the information that was on the uh, blog was full integration of Drip contract with the Atlantis Metaverse, which will utilize Drip as a reserve currency in their ecosystem. 100% sales of BUSD, BNB of celebrity entities will buy Drip and stake in the faucet. Oh, I think that's this one. This was for that one. That goes here. So that's whatever this celebrity partnership was. And this goes for the Atlantis Metaverse, Fat Fingers. So let's look at Atlantis real quick. Again, I don't know anything about them, but they do look like um, quite the well-developed uh, platform for NFTs or tokenomics, a play to earn game, uh, lots of partnerships, a docs dev team. Um, here's all the partnerships they've already locked in so whatever this means for drip if drip gets in here somewhere uh, these are some big names in the crypto space so even a little bit of a push from them you can see pancake swap was hiding down there you can barely see at the bottom so that's bullish for drip whatever whatever they do with the lettuce just the whole point of a lot of these is just getting more eyes on drip so it may not mean um direct Capital coming in the drip, but just more eyes on drip. Uh, jewelry store partnership with an A-list rap artist NFTs. Don't know what that was about. That was just on uh, someone else's uh, blog post. Focus Visual in Influencer Onboarding. Focus Visual is a South America-based OnlyFans, Twitch, Booyah, and YouTube streamer management firm that manages some of the largest talents in Latin America. So this would be basically getting influencers to promote drip in south america unique team building reward structure for content creators and their subscribers for creating content accessible exclusively to their drip teams so that's bullish just getting an entire uh, another demographic of people um, to get into drip and if this uh company has really really influential influencers and again that's more eyes on drip uh, Drip NFT idol slash battle Pokemon style game. Don't know what that is, but if they're making a game and using Drip as an NFT, then that's bullish. Uh, exchange listing. So this is basically getting Drip listed on more than one exchange right now. When you go to CoinGecko, the only exchange we're listed on <laughs> is PancakeSwap. So people use CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap to kind of initially test the validity of a crypto. So the more exchanges that list the currency, the more eyes that get on it and the more um, potential capital that can flow into it. It's just kind of self-explanatory. So right now when you scroll down, you will see, it's loading slowly, I think it's around here, but it'll just say uh, um, pancake swap. We'll come back to that. But getting other, uh, Centralized, uh, decentralized exchanges is bullish. So whatever that takes to get listed on other exchanges is good. Uh, Drip Wallet Insurance ensures your wallet against scammers and hackers, allowing you to withdraw 75% of your deposit by foregoing 25% as fees only if compromised. Insurance premium could be 5% of your 1% ROI. So I don't know who was doing this, but insurance has become popular in the crypto space. I have insurance on uh, some of my UST staking. So I don't know who would do this. It could be some of the major insurancers that are already out there, but let's just say your somebody hacked your wallet or something like that and they were withdrawing 1% per day. 
then this insurance could help by maybe blacklisting the wallet, moving the funds, and you only lose 70, 25% of the capital, you get those 75% back. Um, don't know how that will work, but having some kind of insurance for Drip is definitely bullish. Insurance is what's missing from the crypto space and what's keeping a lot of additional capital coming in, like FDIC insurance for your traditional fiat for USD. And lastly, what makes the most bullish, I've mentioned this multiple, multiple times, is the Drip community. The, uh, the, all the people that do these kinds of things, these, um, what do you call these, uh, resources that we have, websites, tons of influencers, uh, YouTube channels, putting out content, different languages, um, all the different apps and stuff like that. Like that's what keeps this bullish. I already mentioned about the Monopoly NFT. There's other play to earn NFTs. I believe Barter Town does literally just a game, the any game of the week. They pick a game of the week and they give away drip. Um, so it's not directly played to earn, but they're gamifying drip in that way. So there's just tons and tons and tons of use cases for drip. Um, that are being added not only by the devs, but by the community. So that's what keeps me super bullish. Um, I'm going to be updating this and keeping abreast to it. But you just see all this stuff that's in the works. Uh, some short term, some long term, some verified, some unknown. But just the simple fact that it's being worked on. It's not as though Forex just made a project and dumped it out there. He's still got a lot of things he wants to do and bring to the table. So that's what keeps me optimistic on Drip and seeing the price appreciate which is why, in my opinion, of course, you should not be claiming unless you got in way back when, when it was sub $20 and you're up substantially in profits. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Until the next one, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya.